Hello, everybody. Oh, man, this is great. This What a great turnout, man. I want to I wanna thank you guys. Some of you have been here multiple times this week to support my comedy, man. Thank you. The service is amazing on this uh, on this ship, man. It's really fantastic. Uh, I got mistaken for a lady the other day, which uh, kind of made me feel nice. It let me know I'm having a good hair day. You know what I mean? Because I had the menu up, and they're, they're so polite. It's always sir and ma'am all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All the time. So she came up to the table and said, what can I get you to drink, ma'am? And I lowered the menu, and she's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I said, no, 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 you're good, man. I come from a time when you were allowed to make innocent mistakes. <laughs> you remember? You remember those days? <laughs> remember we could just be wrong sometimes? <laughs> Plus, I'm not going to be upset with somebody for doing something that I've done. I've misgendered somebody before. I don't know if you've ever done it. It's not a good feeling. I was running late for a flight to an airport. I went up to somebody and said, like, excuse me, sir, can you please tell me how to get to Terminal 3? And they turned around, and it wasn't a sir. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. I don't think I'm going to get accurate directions anymore. <laughs> and she was angry. Oh, do I look like a motherfucking man to you? <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> I mean, that is a loaded question. <laughs> I wouldn't try to be rude or mean or derogatory. It was in a rush. It was, it was a mistake, man. It's a mistake I'll never make again because now when I go up to strangers in public, I address everybody the same way. I address everybody as human. <laughs> it's a little weird at first walking around talking like an extraterrestrial, but, but you cover all the bases. <clears throat> Excuse me, human. <laughs> Do you know if we're in the vicinity of a Starbucks coffee? I'm running low on fuel and trying to replenish my energy surplus. It's a t I, listen, I, I know gender's a sensitive topic. I can hear your butt cheeks clinching up. I, I, I can hear it. Relax. I get it. It's sensitive. You can't even be a potato anymore. You know they canceled Mr. Potato Head? That dude's out of a job, man. Because his name is Mr. and you can't assume gender. I don't know if anybody knows this, but um, that's not a real person. <laughs> If we're gonna get technical, he's not even a real vegetable, right? Like, who are you punishing by canceling Mr. Potato Head? You think that's gonna make my grandfather more open-minded? That dude's whole life, he's been told there's only two teams in the league, a blue team and a pink team, his whole life. There's way more teams than that, and the more teams, the merrier, but he doesn't give a shit about the expansion franchises, right? You can't teach pa-pa pronouns. Who you can teach your children. What better way to teach kids than through toys, right? Now, I believe in an inclusive world. I think it's the place for everybody on this planet. You know, I'm liberal. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm very liberal. I'm, I'm so liberal, I'm Canadian. <laughs> but I don't think that means we start deleting stuff. I think that's where it gets dangerous. I think we keep what we got and then we add to the list. Keep what we have, add to the list. You keep Mr. Potato Head, you keep Mrs. Potato Head, then you add like a gay cousin, sweet potato. <laughs> Maybe a gender neutral yam. <laughs> and a transitioning turnip. Everybody gets a potato. You guys did very well with that joke. I did it in Alabama, it did not go smoothly. I had a line of people after the show, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> All right, but why are you so upset with what other people eat for breakfast just because you have a nut allergy? <laughs> Take your time. All I'm saying is the only way two dudes having sex would upset me is if while they were doing it, they crashed through my ceiling during the Mandalorian. That's it. And even then, I'd just be like, all right, man, so which one of you guys are paying for this? Who's the daddy? You got to ask. It's not always the top one. It's you? All right, I need you to finish up. Then before you leave, call one of your lesbian friends to come fix your sheet rock. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not laughing at that, you need some lesbian friends.
I do get mistaken for a lady often. It is it has happened quite a bit, especially over the last few years. We were in the mass and stuff. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how many free drinks I've had bought for me for like, my dudes. Yo. <laughs> if the pandemic taught me anything, is I am way too pretty to go to prison. <laughs> They call me a first round draft pick. <laughs> this milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Cause from the front, I'm a scruffy dude, but from the back, I am a sexy Puerto Rican woman. <laughs> and in prison from the back is all that matters. That's the one thing we all had in common. We all, we all had to wear the mask at some point, man. Even Magic Johnson was wearing a mask and he doesn't wear condoms. <laughs> no, you can't laugh and then take the laugh back. Right? Ha -ha! <laughs> Didn't see that punchline coming. No, it's like an email. You already sent it. We're all going to HR together tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start wearing masks on flights again, man. You know, you know the people I sit next to, I'm pretty sure learn how to cough from a Rottweiler? Yeah. You ever see these people? <laughs> Just scaring babies. <laughs> You're like, is this your first day in a new body? Because you seem pretty taken aback by a rather rudimentary bodily function. I sat next to this one lady, man. Oh my gosh, man. She was a middle seat lady. I'm a window seat guy. The whole flight, I had to push my face up against the wall. And every time she'd cough, I'd just exhale. <gasps> just, just make like a force field of breath. <gasps> I'm not buying what you're selling. <gasps> every now and again, just breathe the fresh air from under the windowsill. Just <gasps> somebody cough from like down here so I was like grinding gears like eh, I'm not a doctor but I'm pretty sure that's Ebola right there <laughs> and I gotta jump on the Google in-flight Wi-Fi so I can Google how long it takes for that disease to start working because I'm a hypochondriac and my elbows itchy <laughs> this lady sniffled the whole flight man like six hours straight after about three hours I was like um I got some tissue you want some tissue and she's like, no, I'm okay. And just, oh, she had a snail trail from her index finger to her clavicle. By the time she left the flight, it looked like she was wearing an Adidas tracksuit. <laughs> That's why the pandemic lasted so long because of those people. The kind of people that just found out you're supposed to wash your hands after using the restroom. Oh my God, Dr. Fauci, you're so enlightening. I usually just piss up my fingers and then stroke them through my hair. <laughs> some of you want to laugh, some of you don't want to laugh. I'm not afraid of you guys. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm just waiting for my mutant powers to kick in. I don't care what you say, the healthiest part of that vaccine is the microchip, all right? <laughs> Can I please get extra microchip? It's my favorite part. All I'm saying is who makes a vaccine, gets it to almost 70% efficacy, and it's just like, I think we're good guys. <laughs> Wrap this shit up. All the monkeys are in the cages like crackheads, like, I don't think it's ready yet, guys. I can't feel my finger toes. <laughs> Somebody calls Caesar. <laughs> He's our union rep. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Johnson & Johnson. Make what you're used to making, like shampoo that doesn't fuck up baby eyes. <laughs> Keep making your weak ass shampoo for them weak ass toddlers. <laughs> that might be the dumbest thing I've ever said on stage. <laughs> Them weak ass toddlers and them bitch ass babies. Fuck them kids. <laughs> that is a man that's got child support right there. Man, fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids.
That's he's hilarious. Weird. I'm sorry? He's weird. He is weird. You're right. And you're observant. Uh, th thank you. Thank you, man. What, what is happening? It's like herpes. It just keeps spreading. You know who got me through uh, the pandemic, man? This is, this is the last thing I'll say. This is, this is my, it was my redneck friends. <laughs> Seriously, man. I, I grew up in Canada, but I moved to Georgia immediately, man. Make friends with a redneck, and they will become your spirit animal, right? <laughs> my friends are hilarious, man. And you, you can't scare rednecks. They're not afraid of anything, man. I was like, I was afraid. Man, they were like, man, them scientists don't know shit. Yeah. I wasn't afraid of COVID-1 through 18. I sure as fuck ain't afraid of COVID-19. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no teenager. No signs just looking at these fancy microscopes, just scoping them micros. You come up to me, you tell me you make a living by scoping micros, and I'ma tell you, you don't know shit. You could even trick one of my friends into wearing a mask, man. You could literally try to trick him. You'd be like, hey man, I don't know if you heard, but women are sleeping with dudes that are wearing masks. Like if you wear a mask, bro, you're gonna get laid. Hold on a second. <laughs> you telling me all I need to do to get myself some punta is to wear myself a mask? That's what you say right now. Well, oh my God. Well, I guess I'm just going to be sucking dick for the rest of my life. Because I ain't going to be caught dead wearing no queer liberal face mask. Only rednecks would find the action of wearing a mask to be gayer than taking physical penis. I ain't gonna wear your mask, you might as well put a pecker in my ass. I ain't gonna put on no face cover, I ain't gonna put no fabric on my face. Does this look like the face of a moose lamb woman? Well, it ain't the face of a moose lamb woman, this is Skeeter face, and Skeeter face ain't got no goddamn mask. Mosquitoes, the doctors say if we all wear masks, we can save hundreds of thousands of lives. Doctors, let me tell you about them doctors. Them doctors don't know shit. My doctor told me going to lose my feet from the diabetes. <laughs> Joke's on him. I still got one. Doctors don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. That's it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I got them all out there. Uh, yeah, we good. All right, cool. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. You good? You all right? That's all right. Sweet. All right, so I guess uh, I guess this is where I start talking to you guys. <laughs> That's an awesome seat language there, sir. You're very open to the world. You know what's weird? I don't. I can't see what you're sitting on. It just looks like you're, you got really strong quads. <laughs> like you're just hovering. It's a table. table. Oh, it's a table, okay. Hey, what's your name, sir? Jonathan. Jonathan, nice to meet you, man. How old are you, John? 56. 56, that's a good age, man. Can you beat 56, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> He's 69. Oh, that's a great number, sir. Oh, I want to be 69 so badly. Wake up every day, 4.30 a.m. for no reason whatsoever. Just waiting for the newspaper to be delivered. Watch a little prices ride, pound back some Metamuso. Right, sir? You are living the life, man. We're going to party tonight. We're going to whip and nay nay till the sun comes up. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip, whip. You have no idea what I'm talking about, either. That's fine, that's fine. I'll buy the shots, you bring the high blood pressure medication, all right? We're gonna get crazy in here tonight. <laughs> so John, what do you do for a living? Telecommunications. Telecommunications. <laughs> like uh, AT&T? Is that the company? It is, isn't it? I know, I could tell you're shitty from here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm joking. You're just expensive. I'm just joking, man. Talking all these motherfuckers wrong with charges right now. <laughs> I love this guy. He goes, I'm charging all your overages. You're all roaming right now. I got a nap. Uh, joke's on you. The Wi-Fi doesn't work anyways. <laughs> you got a good laugh too, man. What's your name? Chris. Chris, how old are you? 41. 41. This is good, man. This is this. Is, he's young, right? Who's younger than 41? Who's who's in their like 30s? You're in your 30s, man. How old? 32. Ah, shit. 24. Yeah, but you still pee good, don't you? <laughs> they don't tell you when guys get older, we don't pee good anymore. When you're young, steady, unwavering stream of destruction. It's like a pressure washer. You could burrow your way out of an avalanche of that thing. When you get older, it's kind of like a super soaker that hasn't been pumped up yet. <laughs> It'll still come out, but it's mostly because of gravity. You pee because of physics. You don't talk about 69, right? You remember the good old days when you thought you were done peeing and you were? Now you're the urinal for God knows how long, just pitching your butt cheeks together like eight, nine times. Just trying to empty out your bladder one squirt at a time. Just squirt, squirt. How you done yet? Squirt. You think you're finished, you zip up, you go wash your hands, right? You're about to leave the restroom, just a trickle of pee runs like, ah! Oh. Why would you lie to me? We're on the same team. I got a meeting in five minutes, not gonna pour hot tea on my lap, make it look like an accident. <laughs> Laugh it up, 32, that's your future, bro. I know you think you're invincible, you still write your name in the snow, but another 30 years, it'll just be punctuation. <laughs> Just a series of periods and commas. Every now and again, you'll get lucky with a hyphen. He has no idea what I'm talking about, does he? This kid's still waking up with piss boners, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. So do some of you women, 8.30 in the morning, getting stabbed in the back for no reason. Stop it, I'm trying to sleep. I'm not trying to have sex, it's gotta take a really bad leak, all right? What's happening to guys, man? Why do we wake up just standing at attention for no reason? It doesn't happen to women. You've never woken up with stiff nipples because you got to drop a deuce. But guys, we're just saluting. It's the most awkward urination you've ever had in your life because the toilet is down there. You're up here. You try to force it down, but it's kind of like trying to feed vegetables to a kid. Sometimes you gotta make like a tripod, you gotta make like a tripod, baby. You gotta get a good angle, man. That's the only time in a man's life he'll actually use the Pythagorean theorem. Just A squared plus B squared. I oh, forget it, I'll just piss in the tub, call it a day. Oh man, I'm excited, I'm excited. It's, a good, it's gonna be a fun year for me, man. I'm going to uh, Romania in November for a comedy festival. Pretty happy about that. Uh, last year, I went to England. Good place, food, oof, not so good. Uh, but the accent's nice. Everybody sounds smart. And it's interesting how they have different things, with the different words. Yeah, well, where are you from? I'm from England. I, I know, I know. But you've just been eating in the wrong places. You've been down south. I, yo, for real. So I went to London. Ah. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. I need to talk to you. What's your name? Joanna. Joanna, I love, I love the accent. Everybody sounds, it's different how we have different words for things, like you have different words that we say over here in North America. Like, like we both speak English, but it's a different English. Like you guys don't say apartment. You call it a flat. Yes. Uh, it's not elevator, it's a lift. Yes. And you don't say underwear, you say knickers. <laughs> Which sounds an awful lot like another word I'm familiar with. Because <laughs> I listen to rap. <laughs> so you can understand my confusion when after I was with a girl and she was like, have you seen my knickers? <laughs> 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 
And I was like, no, nah, I never met any of your friends yet. And she's looking under the bed, I'm like, I don't think the end of the day. You know, that's, that's a futon, it's a tight fit. We get ready to go a party and she's like, well, this wouldn't be the first time I went to the club without my knickers. Yeah, sometimes I like to go dancing by myself. But it's always more fun when you got your knickers. Sometimes I bring like two or three of my knickers. She's like, you bring an entire pack of knickers? And I was like, yeah, I bring a whole pack. I like the support. Plus, I've had some of my knickers since grade school. And she was like, ah! It's disgusting. If I had my knickers that long, I'd throw them out the window. You throw your knickers out the window? I don't think we can be friends anymore. She's like, what's the big deal? Let's go down to the mall and buy some new ones. They have a sale going on. Buy one pair of knickers, get a second pair of cotton knickers free. <laughs> oh, this is getting awkward, lady. Because I live in America and they stopped selling knickers up 100 years ago. <laughs> that is a tough joke to get away with in a room full of white people. I do that in all black room. People are high-fiving. They're flipping tables. You guys look like, ah! I don't know if we should laugh. I mean, we only say it at the house. I think it's time for me to leave soon. <laughs> this is good, man. I was asked if I liked to party. You were you asked if you liked to party? When I was in Cancun. You're in Cancun, yeah. And I said, yeah, I love to go to a party. Yeah, yeah, a party, yeah. <laughs> and then they brought you cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were swingers. Used oh, they were swingers. <laughs> what? So how did that go? <laughs> oh, whatever. You didn't. You didn't partake. No. Oh. But I want to click. Oh, what? what the? Lies, lies. <laughs> There's one of them right there. What are the chances you're vacationing together again? <laughs> you know about that pineapple, sir? That's your favorite dessert. That's I'll be on deck twelve. You made it. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know if anybody heard the whore. But she's on deck 12. Just look for the eight rune service outside the door. Right. Uh, sometimes I feel like I went too far. And, uh, if you guys want to see the show, I'm going to put up that section on my YouTube. So you helped create that section. So if you want to watch it, it's free. I'll just, I'll just post it. You can follow me, Comedian Landry, and you can watch uh, what, you, uh, what you guys laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> good, good birthday present. Anybody, anybody, uh, anybody celebrating a birthday on this cruise, by chance? Yeah. Oh, up, up front, the cat lady. <laughs> yeah, it's the cat lady. How you doing? Good. What was your name? Claudia. Tanya? Claudia. Claudia, 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 that's cool. Oh, it's your birthday, fantastic. You, you're, tomorrow, wow, yes. A lot better than my last birthday. I went on a field trip to the gastroenterologist. <laughs> Does anybody know what they do? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> they thought I had an ulcer, right? But in order for them to check that, they had to, um... <laughs> they put a camera of a place. It's, a, it's attached to 137 feet of fiber optic wiring and an air compressor. I don't want to frighten you. They don't bring the equipment to the equation to the second appointment. They want to take it slow, get to know you better. Right? First appointment is a regular office visit. You go in there, they ask a bunch of questions, and the doctor throws a curveball. He's like, yeah, I'm going to need a stool sample. You got like a to-go cup or something, doc? It's but right now, it's not a good time for me. I don't feel like I can give you what you need at this present moment. He's like, no, I'll take the sample. He's like, you'll take the sample. <laughs> but it's still inside. <laughs> He's like, what I need you to do is lay on the table, face the wall, pull your drawers down while he snaps on a rubber glove. I want to take this moment to apologize to all the women in the crowd on behalf of men everywhere and their constant pursuit to try to gain access to the back door. <laughs>
I understand the resistance now. The words, relax, this won't hurt a bit, haunt my dreams as well. And I realized as a doctor, but at least you could have done was set the mood a little bit, you know? Dim the lights, play a little Luther Vandross. I got feelings too. But no, he's gonna simulate prison life and then, and then hand me a pamphlet. I don't want your damn pamphlet, dude. You just penetrated me. As far as I'm concerned, we're now in a relationship. I'll be back at 5.30, we're going to the Cracker Barrel. But I couldn't go back at 5.30, you gotta you got, you got spend the rest of the day prepping. Which means you can't eat any more solid food, you gotta take a laxative. I'm like, no problem, I've taken some X-Lax before, not a big deal. Oh no. They give you a prescription to a laxative. You know you're in trouble when you go to the pharmacist, you're like, hey man, can you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> what flavor did you want your liquid exorcism to be? He comes back with like two and a half gallons of this stuff. You take it home, you pound it back, it tastes horrible. It's got like a, like a weird consistency to it. And then you, and then you just wait. <laughs> and don't be brave. Don't try to make a quick trip to Walmart because your schedule has been set. <laughs> and it works different for everybody. I didn't think it was gonna work for me. I waited two hours, nothing happened. Three hours, nothing. So I went to sleep. <laughs> Which in hindsight probably wasn't the smartest of ideas. You ever been woken up by <clears throat> some scary stuff right there? It's the middle of the night, I'm trying to talk myself out of it. It's like, I'm just gonna lay here for a little longer. Just pinch my butt cheeks together. We can do this in the morning. <clears throat> no, you're right, you can do this right now. You jump up out of bed only to find out the structural integrity of your seal had been compromised. Now you gotta waddle to the bathroom like a damn gingerbread, man. <laughs> and that's where you set up base camp. And I hope you know a Sherpa, you're gonna be there for a while. I don't know if you've ever shit everything, but it is taxing. I blacked out twice. The second time I woke up, couldn't feel my legs. I thought I shit so hard, I paralyzed myself. <laughs> but I'd just been sitting there so long that the circulation to my extremities was cut off. I couldn't feel my legs till they fell asleep. I've never been happier to feel the excruciating pain of pins and needles as I tap my feet back to consciousness. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is, happy birthday, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Are you okay, man? Don't choke. I'm not, I'm not insured. Uh, you're good, you're good. I, I, I can tell who's been through the procedure. <laughs> you look like you're about to do it right now. You got a hearty laugh, sir. I appreciate you. What's your name, man? Yeah, I'm looking right at you, man. I don't have a lazy eye. Uh, no, you, sir. I'm sorry, let me say this in English. Ma'am, do you, from England, do you mind asking him what his name is. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I don't want you to bum a smoke off of him. I said, what's his name? Excuse me, sir. Would you happen to know what your fucking name is? <laughs> By the way, I'd like a fag if I could. That cigarette. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I, Sheldon? Kevin. Kevin, sorry, I, 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 whoa, it's about to get chaos in here.
Kevin. Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Kevin, I'm, I'm going to need you to sleep on a, on a lifeboat from here on out. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, does Kevin belong to you? How long uh, can he be away from the home? <laughs> the, vis the visits are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Wait, where are you guys from? San Diego. Oh, I love it. Beautiful city, man. I was on a cruise ship out of San Diego. You guys have like the best looking homeless people. <laughs> What do, you, uh, what do you do for a living, Kevin? I'm a shoe salesman. A shoe salesman? Hey, <laughs> oh. oh, man. Now the audience is heckling with TV sitcoms. I mean, that might be Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. You're a shoe salesman. That's a cool job, man. That's that's retro, man. You're like, yeah, what's your what's your your niche? Like athletic footwear, dress dressy footwear. You vans. Yeah. Dude, I can fucking sell those. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's easier. <laughs> so you sell vans, just the shoes. You sell the shirts. No shirts. No, fuck the shirts. <laughs> Shoes are where it's at, right, sir? Six through 13, that's it. Just, oh wow, you're very limited here. This is, how did you get the job, bro? Listen, I'll work here, but I'm only seven sizes, six through 13. I ain't gonna talk to no weird motherfucker, huh? With them itty bitty feet and the big ass feet. I want regular people. If they can't fit a tube sock, I ain't talk to them. <laughs> All right, so the green light is on. Yeah. I know, I know. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I have one more show tomorrow. Please come back if you want. Uh, I don't know what you guys are doing tonight. I'll probably hang out at uh, the, the nightclub tonight, chill out, have a, have a drink or something. If you guys want to socialize, take photos or whatever, um, I'll be here tonight. Um, are there any questions? Before I go, I always ask. Great job! That's, thank you, thank you. Oh. Thanks. All right, folks. The, what's that, Idaho? Idaho! Uh, oh, uh, what, is this the Tourette section? Idaho, chicken butt, bye bye. Idaho, Idaho. Mm. One more time, again. Oh, one more time. Is that what you said? Hanaho. 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 Oh, Hanaho. Oh. 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 I'm not, I, I know like I, I look like I'm in Moana, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but you're welcome. Anyways, folks, I gotta go because the light's off and uh, I'm in overtime. Um, and we don't want to pay for the cruise. <laughs> no, it, it, here's the thing. It's not that I wouldn't perform more for you guys, but I have to respect the people that work in this room. And by the way, give them a big round of applause, please. <laughs> These guys work like 16-hour days, man. I, they don't need to work any longer because of me. Uh, but, but I really do appreciate you guys coming back in and supporting my shows, man. I'll see you around the ship. Thank you so much, man. Take it easy. Thank you. Hey, everybody. If you made it this far, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching a random set that I did on a Thursday night in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I understand the sound wasn't great in certain points. It's, I apologize for that. It was the first time using my DJI mics on this brand new camera that I got, and I, the settings were a little off, but I got it rectified now. So um, I called it Lost at Sea because I feel like that's a perfect description of my career. <laughs> uh, I've been doing comedy for 16 years, and nobody knows who I am because, in part, I think it's because I, I spent the majority of the time performing on cruise ships and floating in the middle of the ocean like a pirate. 
and uh, I want to get off the ship, so I'm going to need your help. I'm going to be more proficient on social media. I will take all the constructive criticism you throw my way, and hopefully I'll get better at this, and I'll, I'll garnish a little bit more heat. I'll get a little bit more popular, and I'll be able to upgrade from the 2014 Ford Focus that I currently drive. Um, it's in bad condition, so I, I, I do need some shares off of this video. Um, I have a new special coming out this year. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, and I'm touring. I'm all over the world, so I'll eventually be in your neck of the woods, and I hope to perform live for you at some point in time. Uh, in the meantime, look for no, new videos I'm going to be uploading, and uh, your support is always, always appreciated. Thank you so much.